Hello, I'm Y27, but you can call me OJ. And one day, I woke up and I had a thought. That thought being, hmm, I wonder how VTubers would look like if they were stickmen. Would they even have... Mammary glands? In any case, I did what any person would do in that situation. I reached for my phone and promptly forgot about my question. Instead, I opened up some mobile games, stayed in bed until lunchtime, did some homework, and when I remembered my question, I tapped it into Google and boom, nothing. And so, here we are. Anyways, who do I draw? Well, for this video, I've decided to transform three VTubers. And since this is my first time doing this, I decided to start off with a bang by drawing Gargura, Iron Mouse, and... Rubber Ross. And before you say anything, first of all, Ross does have a VTuber model. This. Second, I like his content and I'm even subscribed to him on YouTube. Uh... And I'm even subscribed to him on YouTube. And third, this is my video so I make the rules. Get wrecked, human. Speaking about rules, I do have some things I want to make clear. To start off, I'll be using PowerPoint for this. Why? Because I'm a special child with special needs. And second, I won't be drawing my victims, uh, wait, no, these VTubers from scratch. Instead, I'll simply be building off of my stick figure model that I already have, aka the one that is in front of you right now. And I'll be adjusting it depending on the situation. And now with that out of the way, time to get drawing. Okay, first problem. How the frick am I supposed to do this? Uh, okay, let's start off with the hair. And as I'm drawing, I'm running into my second problem. How the frick am I supposed to make this entertaining? Good question, past me. I still have no goddamn clue. In any case, look at that hair. Beautiful, 10 out of 10 quality. Wait, let me uh, see if I can fix this. Uh, make her forehead humongous, lower the hairline, and oh damn, this is already looking much better. Uh, wait, uh, rearrange a few lines, and time to add details to the hair. This part was quite boring, so time skip. Okay, now with the general outline that is done, time for the hoodie. And in order to do this, I decided to immediately ruin my drawing by turning her head into a pear. But no worries, because as the drawing progresses, the pear shape will look much better. Hopefully. Okay, mostly finished the hood of the hoodie. I also added some colors to her hair to make it look more lively and less sad like my life. Moving on to the rest of her clothing, this is the part where I realized that this isn't actually Gura. Gura looks like a child. What I currently have looks like an adult trying to cosplay Gura with the Gargura cosplay costume shark hoodie with hat, fish, tail Halloween outfit full set that they bought online for $127.53. Wait, where was I again? Oh yeah, time to make this character look like a gremlin. And if there are any children watching, please cover your eyes because what you're about to see is going to scar you for life. PP. Anyways, all that's left to do is to close off the shapes, turn off x-ray vision and add details like ropes, a mouth, dead fish, drool, add a towel and some more hair because I forgot to add that earlier, and that is my first VTuber finished. Well, kinda. The shark is often seen with her gigantic deluxe marshmallow roasting fork, Ocean Edition. So I also wanted to add a version of her holding it. And there's not much I can comment about it, except for the fact that I suck at drawing straight lines. But here's the final result. Now with Gargura done, time to do Iron Mouse. And for this video, I'm going to be going with this version of Iron Mouse. And there are two main reasons behind my decision. One, it is personally the model that I like the most, and two, I am just very very lazy and it seems like this version will require less brain cells in order to properly draw. So it should be pretty simple. I mean, just look at this, and this, and this. This one isn't actually complicated, it's just that I'm avoiding it because I feel like I'll get too... distracted by it. Anyways, create a new slide, import another stick figure, and it's time for round two. Draw her hair, lower the eyes, draw more hair, draw one of her horns, add her heart-shaped hairpin. Zzz. Add more hair and her horn, again. Draw more hair, again, again. And this is the part where I realized that I drew Iron Mouse's hair a bit too wide. 
but that's going to be a problem for future me. Procrastination? Let's go! Oh, my grades are suffering because of it. Anyways, I am so good at procrastinating that I decided to procrastinate on procrastination, because five minutes later, the chunky hair was really starting to annoy me, and so I decided to rearrange it. I also added an ahegao, wait, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, wrong word, uh, ahoge, there we go. I also decided to add an ahoge heart shape edition and more hair, again. And now with the hair done, time to add the clothes. And after spending 10 minutes trying to figure out where her boba should be, I decided that for the time being, I'll just put her top here. And after drawing a jackhammer, I met my undoing, my nightmare, my sleep paralysis demon, my reflection. Okay, I'm just I'm I'm just kidding, kinda. This freaking dress. I spent so long trying to arrange and rearrange this thing that if I ever go to a therapist, it will be because of this thing. But it's fine because in the end, I powered through it and it managed to make it not look horrible. And it only cost me my sanity and my will to live. A pretty fair trade if I have to be honest. And now I can finally move on to the rest of her clothing as well as all of the little details that can be found. Like uh, this, 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 in any case, 1 hour, 53 minutes, 10 seconds, 705 milliseconds, 977 microseconds, and 58 nanoseconds later, VTuber number 2 has been stickified. Okay, only one more VTuber to go. Well, VTuber being Rubber Ross, by far the easiest to model so far, and in hindsight, he should have probably been the first one on the chopping block, so that I could practice for the harder ones. But obviously, since I am very big-brained, I did the exact freaking opposite. Good job me, always finding the most inefficient ways to do things. In any case, I started Roboross's stickification by copy-pasting my stick figure model and changing it from black to a reddish orangey color. Add the horns, slap a wig on him, readjust the wig for 30 minutes before doing what I do best, giving up. Moving on to the jacket, first by drawing the sleeves, and then proceeding to draw the rest of the vest. Add some details like the mini pocket thing at the front, stitches, lines, lots and lots of lines. This word, or words that I am unable to read and have no idea what it means because I never learned Japanese. Is, is, is this Japanese? Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to assume that this is Japanese because it looks Japanesey. Very sorry if it's not actually Japanese. Anyways, after I finished all of that, I went back to finish up the hair, which was literally adding a singular line. Test out if eyebrows would look good, which... No. And I am finally done. Well, done for now, since I do plan on trying more in the future. But for now, here's what I have compared to the images that I used to serve as models. And with that, see you in the next one, hopefully, if you decide to stick around. Oh god, someone please kill me.